a fallout shelter in Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. Holy bucket. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. I don't approve of this. And I think if you're doing it, well, let's face it, you're with the wrong person. Okay? If you're doing this, you are with the wrong person. Maybe you shouldn't be with any person. If you're doing this, there's something wrong. I don't understand people like this. But I know that people do it. I always say that uh, I do not press the rewind button. I am always moving forward. You know, my life is, uh, it's kind of like that button on the TiVo. You know, and you're, uh, my life is like you're scanning through a show. That's it. I, <laughs> there's no going back. There's no going back. Life moves forward like that. Period. <laughs> Well, I don't know about quite like that. But <laughs> Seriously speaking, if you're doing this, there is something wrong in your... I'm going to put it this way. There's something wrong, not just in your relationship, there's something wrong with you. And here's what it is. How many of you, and I know I'll talk to you this hour, how many of you are in a relationship, you're married, you're living with somebody, you're dating somebody, you're wearing somebody's engagement ring, or they're promised to make a promise to make a promise ring. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And while you're with them, making plans for the future, telling them you love them, eating dinner on Valentine's Day, <laughs> whatever it is you're doing, making wedding plans. Maybe you're already married. Would you spend part of your day pining away for somebody from the past? Now, in some cases, this is just simply, think about it. It's just some sexual thing, you know? Somebody really looked hot, or somebody really got the job done. This is common in women who dated hot guys in the past, but married reliable old Poindexter from the IT department. They pine away for the good old days with hot guys they used to date. The musicians, the poets, the bikers, the actors... And so there she is, you know, driving around in the uh, 10 miles to the gallon minivan with the kids, looking like a mom, and thinking back to somebody who could really do her up good. Or somebody who is much more, as women love to put it, romantic than you are. Some of these people, and by the way, the men and women both do this. Some of these people actually are having sex with the person they're with, but they close their eyes and in their head they are with somebody else from the past. 
there are certain symptoms of people like this, okay? They sign up with websites like Reunion.com and Classmates.com. They're always Googling or using Yahoo to search out people. How about the people who are pathetic? You know, they get on like Classmates.com and they're checking out the photographs that people have posted. Checking out who they're married to today, if they're married at all. Checking out their children. Fantasizing that, you know, those could have been my kids. Now, if you are one of these people, I don't know why you married Sloppy Seconds. I don't know. <laughs> I do not understand why you, how you could marry somebody or move in with somebody knowing that the love of your life is really somebody else. And why live with anybody? Why not be open later on in case, nowadays with the divorce rate, what it is. One day, the love of your life, the odds are uh, even that that person will get a divorce, that that person will be available at some point in the future. Why not just be available until that time? Why not? Oh, I've gotten these phone calls. I have got, and by the way, that's another thing they do. They make the phone calls, the clandestine phone calls. How do I know? I've gotten the calls. And um, it's fascinating, you know. I, I have got and these women who they know who they are. I'm not going to bust you. But these women call me when the husband is out to work, the boyfriend is at school. They call me, checking up on me, seeing if I married somebody else or got involved with somebody else, seeing if I still think about them. Oh, I've gotten these calls. I have gotten these calls. By the way, I've gotten these calls from people who cheated on me, and I dumped them for that purpose. I have gotten these calls from people who I unceremoniously dumped, and they're still thinking about me. I've gotten these calls from people who wanted me to marry them, and when I didn't, they made a big show of out of marrying somebody else. But then they call me, and after you talk to them for a while, you find out things aren't so wonderful over there. Now, I say, if, if you're in love with somebody else, don't be marrying the person you're with now. It's not fair to them. Mentally, you are halfway checked out of this relationship. But I want to find out what the deal is. How do you do it? How do you go day to day to day being in a relationship or a marriage with one person, but secretly you harbor feelings for another person? Another person who you used to think the world of, or another person who sexually uh, turned you on more than anybody you ever knew or will know. How do you go on? Why are you in a relationship with somebody else? Why did you marry somebody else? I've got to know. Tom Likens. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You're absolutely right. Getting married is beyond nuts. I mean, anyone who decides to get married is crazy. I've been there, done that. There is no fun in it. You know, there's so much fun before you get married. But after you get married, like, the fun is over. It's done. It's the Tom Likens Show. Tom like a show, 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. <laughs> Why do people do that? Why would you be with one person and still be dreaming about a previous person? Makes no sense. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Deborah on the Tom like a show. Hello? Hello? You having a party over there? What are you doing? Oh, no, we're just laughing at the whole <laughs> Hey, Tom, how are you? Do you care? No, you're just killing time till you figure out what you want to talk about. No, no, we know what we want to talk about. We heard your topic, but, um, no, my brother and I were just talking about, I guess, you know, you're saying, why be with somebody if they're not the love of your life? 
right? Is well, put it this way, not necessarily that. What I'm saying is, why be with somebody if somebody else is the love of your life? Because things don't always work out that way. I mean, no then why do you what? need to be with anybody? Well, this is the whole thing. I don't have to be with Mr. Right. I can be with Mr. Right now for however long. Is that fair to them? Well, yeah, I, I think it's fair if you tell them, you know what? You know what, Jason? You're, you're, you'll be perfect for now until I find somebody I love more than you. Okay, but for real, how many people are, are really honest with the other person that they're with anyway? Well, first of all, dear, you don't have to be with anyone. I, For example, right now, I live alone. Yeah, well, you know what the whole thing is? It's nice to roll over on someone in the middle of the night. Yeah, but don't you owe it to them to tell them they are Mr. Right Now? Mm, no. So so this is another way of using people. They go, you, of course, we know the obvious ways, being a gold digger, uh, yeah, trying to use no, somebody to get you I a job. I take care of myself completely. Yeah, but, but, but I, the I point is you are, you, are, you are living a, a dishonest life with somebody who maybe they think uh, that you're the uh, person they're going to end up with. Well, the thing is this. I see it as long as we respect each other and care for each other, they don't have to be the love of your life. But I think if you know that that person is temporary, that you owe it to them to tell them and then let them decide what they want to do. You know what? Otherwise, you are. Before. Otherwise, you. Otherwise, you are. Otherwise, you are. Otherwise, you are using them. <laughs> well, the way I see it is this: they knew what they were getting into from the very beginning. No, they didn't, unless you told them. No, no, no. See, this is the thing. When I got into this this, this current relationship right now, right. He knew. He knew that I had been completely in love with somebody else for a very, very long time. But and, and he knows he does not measure up. I'm sorry? And he knows he does not measure up. He knows he doesn't. He knows he, it. So you've told him that. He knows it. He knows it because he constantly throws the other guy in my face. Oh, I'm not, you know, so-and-so. Oh, too bad I'm not so Well, so. you know what? He should throw the other guy in your face. Well, the thing is this, though. I don't throw that guy in his face. That's not the point. He's throwing it in your face because he knows you're being dishonest with him. Okay, but he also has that. And you are being dishonest with him. Because I told him from the very beginning. The thing is this. I'm not saying I don't care for the person I'm with. Why don't we call him right now and tell him that if the other person would take you back, you're leaving him, which is true. (laughs) Let's call him right now. I won! I so won! <laughs> Let's do it! Uh, no, not yet available. What? Yet. But let's call him and tell him. When my ex becomes available, if he is available to me, I'm out of here. I just want you to know. Mm, okay, but this is the thing, though. My ex is now damaged goods. He has kids now, so no. So you would not go back to him? Uh, I may go back to him for a night. But well, then it. let then you owe it to the guy you're with to let him know that. Let's call him right now. You want to call him and tell him that? Yes. Just... It's only fair. Oh, come on, Tom. Why wouldn't you want to tell him that? Well, let me think about that. I don't know. I mean, honestly, I don't really care one way or the other. Yeah, well, you do because, uh, first of all, you're using him. And second of all, if you don't tell him that... <laughs> person is to actually get some kind of financial means. I'm not that kind of a girl, okay? I may roll over on him in the middle of the night, but that's about it. Other than that, money-wise and all that, I take care of myself. That's not the point. Yeah, There's other ways to use people. And if somebody is in love with you, but okay. your plan is to leave them as soon as you find somebody you like better, well, uh, they deserve to know that or you're using them. Well, not exactly. See, because we both, we were together way back when. And he left someone to be with me. I left someone to be with him. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I can't tell you for sure that he's the love of my life. He is a love of my life. No, but he's a, he's clearly not your favorite. And cle- you just called him Mr. Right Now. You called him that. He is Mr. Right Now. Well, then, then he's not only not the love of your life. He's just a placeholder until somebody you really like comes along. He's not the love of my life. He is a love of my life. Well, why don't you tell him that? Because in order to keep it going, you have to keep this lie going. Why, though? I mean, okay, but why be completely honest? Why I mean, be completely honest? Hang on, let's ask that question, Ryan. Deborah says, why be completely honest? Oh, this is crazy. You know, she just is waiting along for, 
for somebody that, you know, she thinks is more worth it or whatnot, but I think it's just because she's ugly and she can't get somebody that's, that's worth it, so she's got to be with whoever she can for right now. Not ugly. Trust me, I am not ugly. Not even near anything ugly. I'm not. Yeah, I doubt it. That's why you can't get the person you want to be with right now. You've no, got to lie to somebody please. else because you're ugly. I don't really want to be with anyone in particular. See, the whole thing is this. I'm happy with where I'm at right now. The person that was the so, love so of then my life... So why don't you just tell that guy what's up then and let him know? Why do you got to keep dragging him along? Okay, so why, why am I dragging him along? Be honest with him. Because she's right selfish? Now. Yeah. I think it's because she's ugly, Tom. Oh, and she hung up? <laughs> 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. John in Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat. You're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey there, Tom. You're doing the Lord's work out there. Thank you, sir. Hey, you know, it's going to sound really, really shallow because it is, and, you know, I make no claims otherwise, but I left a girl because I simply didn't think that she was up to my standards as far as looks. Now, we got along great. I, we'd moved in together, reached the point where, uh, you know, we were meeting each other's families, and her father actually thought it was going to be popping him the question any moment. And, uh, you know, when it got right down to it, I just thought I could do better. But it's one of those things where you, you think back and go, geez, did I make the right decision? So, so, so why are you with this person now? Uh, <laughs> it's more than the that she's just better looking. I, you know, we fit pretty well. I mean, we're we're a good match. But personality-wise, this other girl, I, I think, was just a little bit better. But can't you just be on your own? Do you have to be with somebody whose heart you will ultimately break? And you will. That's a really, really good point. I don't have a good answer as to uh, why I am and why I need to be. I mean, could you just, like, live on your own? Yeah. And it's not that I, I can't. It's, you know, the sex with this other girl, this new girl, is just incredible. And I I think it's more of one of those physical relationships, to be honest. Uh, well, th do you live with this girl? Uh, no, not yet. Well, Not you know, yet? <laughs> I know. It, it's not a good situation. Why would you need yeah. to live with a person like that? Hmm. Well, I I don't have an answer for that. Well, would they, why, do you always do things without knowing why you do them? No, I, I'm normally not so indecisive. I'm, I'm pretty good about things. but So why would you want to do that? I don't know. It, it's not making a whole lot of sense. You know, the longer I'm in a relationship with this girl, just the more things that come out that just don't add up, you know? So why don't you end it? I need to. Then do it. Uh, maybe I should, but... You know, you can't hit the rewind button. You can't ever go back to the other person. You're I'm not about. saying you should, but clearly yeah, this person doesn't measure up to your standards. So why be with them? And why move in with them? <laughs> well, I haven't moved in yet. Yeah, but, but you're point. thinking about it. Yeah, I am thinking about it. Don't be thinking about it. Don't be thinking about it? No. Yeah, you make a good point. Why make a bad situation worse? Yeah, I think and by the way, I'm going to be honest with you. Have I ever, after I broke up a relationship, did I ever bang people that I didn't care about or who didn't measure up to the other people? Sure I did. By a physical needs, absolutely. Yeah. And, and there have been many times when after I, I ended a marriage or a relationship, I just went out and effed as many chicks as I possibly could, uh, some of whom I could never, ever be with. Wow. Yeah. Let me ask you something then. Going into any marriage that you had been in, were you thinking at the time that this girl was the love of your life, that she was your soulmate? Um, well, I don't believe in that anymore at this time. Okay. Um, I will say that I did marry at least one person while I was thinking about another. And it was stupid. It was a red flag. And it, it you know, in retrospect, had I paid attention to that signal. I would not have gotten into a bad marriage. Oh. And I, so I'm speaking from experience here. Yeah, no, 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 I hear what you're saying. It makes a lot of sense. I don't know. 
I think it is time to end it. You're, you are absolutely right on that. Let me know when you do it. Will do. Can you take me out with a bong hit? I certainly can, John. Can we all just get a bong? And on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I think you are so controversial right now. I mean, I love your show. I love I'm you controversial? Like yes, because you just told the previous caller she owed it to the guy that she's with to tell him that right. she doesn't want to be with him. That's correct. But you, tell me, but you tell men all the time to just lie to the women just so she can, you can, they can get in their pants. Yeah, but you see, they're, they're two different things. Because lying to somebody to get sex is really like something that happens over a night. Lying to somebody, having them move in with you, and have their hopes and dreams set on being with you. That's a but way, time, that's a way bigger time. lie. You cannot tell me this is Mr. Right now, and it's great to have somebody to lie next to at night. But, but clearly your plan ultimately is to, to disappoint this person and dump them. And you want to just dump them now. That's clearly the plan, plan when the men get with these women and they lead them to believe that no, they want to be with them. No, no, my plan is never that. I never tell women I'm in love with them. I never tell women, ooh, maybe someday we'll get married. Never. Get. never. I don't do it. Um. All right, Tom. Can you blow me up? I just wanted to make that point. I just All right. Think it was, you're just so biased. Don't be repeating yourself here. I'm just so controversial right now. I'm controversing myself. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Lisa on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. Um, the reason why I'm calling is because my boyfriend is actually one of those people that keep looking for people in his past. And... I have no idea why, but he... You, wait, 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 stop. You have no idea why? Well, okay. I, well, yes, I you know. do. <laughs> yes, you do. Okay, why? Why do you think? Because he prefers them to you. He hasn't seen him in over, like, 20 years. I don't care what the reason is, dear. It's just like they're... Look, let me give you the female example. I okay. have known women whether I've been involved with them or not. Women who knew guys in the past, Hall of Fame baseball players, ski instructors, tennis instructors, scuba instructors at Club Med, guys they'd been with in the past. Okay, Now, they probably spent a night, a weekend, or maybe a week with these guys. Okay, Maybe they went to France or Italy with them for a couple of weeks. Okay, But they never had to pick up the guy's socks. They never had to clean up his skid marks. They were never there when these guys cheated on them or anything. So in retrospect, these guys look great because they're perfect in your memory. Okay. You never had to live with it when they had to have surgery or when they had a leg cut off or <laughs> you were never there when to, to find out that they were violent or that they were married to somebody else. Or who knows what you might have found out had you stayed with them. So there they are, suspended in the past, a perfect weekend at a perfect hotel, perfect sex, all perfect. Meanwhile, whoever you're with today, you've seen the worst of him. You've seen how, how sometimes he doesn't take a shower, or you've seen that all he does is sit home and drink beer and watch ESPN. Or you've had to clean up after the guy. And then you might daydream in the past about some perfect person who you spent a weekend or a week or a month with. Or maybe that okay. summer romance when you go to college. Somebody who's absolutely perfect. The, what I'm trying to tell you is uh, that is the same kind of thing. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but I mean... I don't understand what the point is of just talking on the phone or just searching for that person when he can't actually meet that person or be with that person. Oh, yes, he can. Well, he's not trying to. We don't know that. We don't know what he's doing. 
Well, she lives in another state. We don't know what he's doing. We don't know when suddenly you'll see a charge from Amtrak or Southwest Airlines on your credit card, and you're not going to remember making that purchase. You don't know when she's going to pull up to the local Hampton Inn and get a $149 a night room and be a mile from your house. You don't know. Oh, that is so gross. But it's, but it's true. Watch your mouth. We're on the air. I'm sorry. I just thought I was talking to you without being on the air. No, you can't talk to me without being on the air. I've got better things to do than spend my private time talking to you. I'm here because I'm on the clock. Oh, I see. Well, well if I'm, I'm on the clock, okay. we're putting this on the air. Now, Donnie, let me just tell you, okay, why do I know so much about this? Boy, Why? now I'm really going to let something out of the bag. I live in the Hollywood Hills, and I have for many years. And I am very, 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 very familiar with the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel, which I can see from my house. <laughs> I can see it from my terrace. I can look out of my terrace, and I can see the neon, the red neon sign that sits on top of the Roosevelt Hotel. And do you know why? Why? Because women I have known have come in from all over America to stay at the Roosevelt Hotel, and then maybe I had to go out and pick up a few things at the store. Okay. Are you hearing me? <laughs> okay, so, and he, but every time I... Once or twice, I've caught him on the phone with another girl. There we go. And then he told me that no, there's, there's not nothing going thing. on, and you believed him. No, well, no, I don't. I just don't know what to do. Darling, if he is that anxious to find ex-girlfriends, he'll, he's voted with his ears. He's voted with his uh, the typing fingers. You know what I'm saying? He's just so, like, but he keeps telling, I don't know, he he just says it's different. I don't understand because I don't have a past. What? Because he's a lot older than I am, so he thinks that I don't have a past, so it's it's different. Well, that's wishful thinking, isn't it? <laughs> so I just don't understand. And I said, well, how would you feel if I was talking to, you know, people from my past? And then he goes, I feel the same exact way. I'll piss off. But I, and then I said, why do you do it? He goes, I know. I shouldn't have done it. I'm sorry. But he's still doing it. Well, this just happened recently. So, I don't, yeah, he is still doing it. Right. So you're going to live in denial until you catch him doing something really bad. I am not in denial. I know he's been doing it. It's strange. But, but you're not acting upon it. I just don't know what to do. You know what to do. You don't want to do it. I guess I'm just comfortable. Well, you, you're comfortable uh, for no justifiable reason. Well, I feel like everybody always tells me that he's, like, all girls are always all over him. But it's like he has me as, like, his main squeeze. And then he has his other girls also. And I'm like... <laughs> Darling, you're in complete denial. Okay. All right. So I, you think I just think that this is not happening? It's time to go. <laughs> well, can I get a bong hit at least? <laughs> get what? <laughs> a bong hit. Oh, a bong hit? Oh, I'll give you more than a bong hit, dear. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. Dude, you've given me the roadmap to go over the wall, get in my neighbor's yard, and get my testicles out of the tree. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's Tom Likas coming to you from Hollywood at one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. I'm trying to understand people who are married to or living with one person, but 
secretly in love with people from the past. Maybe even not so secretly. What's that all about? Is that you? Are you with somebody like that? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Monica, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. This situation is probably going to throw everyone for a curveball. I have been married for a few years now. My husband and I have separated. He and I were going through a lot of issues, and I decided to leave. In that, he begged me to come back, and I just told him to give me some time. I needed some space. So he found this hoochie mama, Compton Ho, who basically saw, you know, a good-looking, well-established guy who was, like, really brokenhearted, and he spilled his heart to her. Now, this girl happens to be his sister's, his sister's boyfriend's sister. Okay, now that's a Jerry Springer. Sister's boyfriend's sister. Okay. Springer still completely. Now, this hoe already had a kid. Okay? And so she figured, you know what? If I can get myself wedged in the middle here, not only will I have a home, I'll have a father for my first son, and I can, you know, pretty much take over what's here. Now, for me, it didn't matter. I just kind of felt like, you know, he is the love of my life. I love him. I'll always love him. And because I'll always love him, you know, we always go back to each other. No matter what kind of BS he's put me through, I'm always right there for him. And no matter what kind of BS I put him through, he's always right there for me. Why, why do you need that kind of drama in your life? I don't understand it. The thing is, we don't need that kind of drama. Yeah, you do balls to tell her like you know what no no you need the drama in your life that's why you're with him no no no. i'm not with him though i live by myself and I see what is your is you do you have the same last name he has yes i do you're with him no we don't live together but that's you're married to him right but i still you know why you know, are you married to him uh because because you love the drama you love it. Your life is a novella, and you love it. No, no, no. See, yes, I, yes, yes. Good. I got my 401k. I got everything that I It doesn't mean your life is not a, like a novella and that you don't love it. You do. My, my life what? Your life is a telenovela. <laughs> well, actually, I think that if I was to sell my life for like one of those best sellers, it would definitely... You That's know, my point, and you... Love it. You're proud of it. Listen to you. You're proud of it. Something I'm proud of it is that... You, you know, love it. Him, and I'll always love him. And just like he's... What does him, that mean? I'll always love him. What does that mean? What? What does that mean? I'll always love him. Always love him. I'll always love him. Regardless that, oh. if you not get it together and figure out a way to just get rid of everyone else. I'll always love it. You know, well, you can't. You know what? In the world, you can't get rid of everyone else. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work, doesn't work that way. No. You can't get rid of everyone else. We don't want to get rid of everyone You just said that. No, I mean, what I'm talking about is him and I, we know that we love each other. And we know that... It, no well, what does that mean? If the two of you can't live together, what does it mean? Well, right now... He got stuck in a really bad position. This woman... Decided, darling, darling, you put him there. Yeah, I put him there, and that's why I told them. I'm like, you know what? It was my fault for leaving. I did it. I caused it. I caused the initial, you know, the initial uh, domino effect that led to all this drama that started out. But he worsened it when he had a kid with her. Oh, God. But you still love the drama. If you love him, you love the drama. You can't help who you love. Yeah, you can, actually. You know what? That's just not true. I did a show about this. Yes, you can. You can say to yourself, some things are good for me, some things are bad for me. I don't love things that are bad for me. Well, a lot of, you know, I mean, people don't want to be sick with liver, you know, with liver failure and whatever, but they still like alcohol. That doesn't. That has nothing to do with love. And by the way, are you comparing yourself to an addict? Uh, you need a 12-step program? That's so you're sick, was what you're saying. Um, Alcoholics are sick, and so are you. What can I say? I mean, the way I see it is, I love him. There's nothing I can do right now. You know, he and I, in the long run, we both know that this is going to come. When it comes down to it, in the end, when all the drama settles and everything, we're there for each other. If I get started, No, you're not. Yeah. You're not. He's right there for me. 
No, it, he's not. He has I'm a baby a, with somebody else. He lives with somebody else. You dumped him. You were not there for each other. This is so stupid. It's so immature. It's so childish. Uh, but we're not kids. See, that's no, but you kids. act like kids. It doesn't matter what you are. You're, you're, you're a couple of 12-year-olds. Wow. The 12-year-olds that really do care for each no, other. You're, no, you have a sick, codependent relationship, and you both need to be in therapy. Both of you. In therapy? Yeah, you do. Wow. In therapy. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> you're so mature, darling. No, it's not that. I mean, <laughs> His mom has looked at it, and even his mom tells me, look, you know, we we all know how much you guys love each other. We know that it's hard on you. This whole situation sucks. Everything just happened. Everything just snowballed out of control. I didn't leave him because I didn't love him. I left him because I loved him. I left him because I needed time. We've been together. What does that mean, I need time? I needed time to realize if I could, if I could do this. I had why, to if, you, if, if he loved you so much, why would that be so hard? No, I have been because told. you're sick, and so is he. That's why. No, uh, uh-uh. uh. Uh huh. A lot of emotional things at the time, and I felt sick. That was- sick. That need you need therapy. Should have been in therapy. Okay. Well, whether or not with therapy, when it comes down to um, people, can go ahead and judge what they think. Now, it's obvious. Hmm. But the thing is, I know he loves me, and I love him. Right, right, right. Hang on a second here, Monica. Tom, what did you want to say to Monica? All right, Tom. Long time, first time. Uh, you can't control who you love. It doesn't matter what situation you're in, kids, not. It doesn't matter. Hey, watch your mouth. We're on the air. Sorry about that. And that's what... <laughs> is she saying anything? No. Okay. I, I've, I've had the same situation, too. I had a long-time girlfriend. I don't know why. But I thought I loved her, and then I sat down and I realized, like, all the things that were going on, and she had so many problems, and it's like, you know what? I can't have that in my life. All you have to do is take a look at yourself and say, that's not what I want for myself. You're right. You're right. You're right. It's hard, though. It's really hard because, you know what? He's all I ever knew for, like, 10 years. It's hard, but in the long run, you're better off without it. I think for so long we had just been there for each other and helped each other through so much that it's just hard to come to a terms and be like, all right, that's it. This is just. I, I had another. He had a kid with another girl too, and that is the kind of way that he's there for you. Then I, that's, I mean, it's like Tom said. You just love the drama. That's all there is to it. You just love the fact that you can constantly have something to argue with or to call up and waste Tom's time about. All you want is for somebody to feel bad for you instead of doing what you need to do and just get out of the situation. For me, so that's where you're wrong. I don't need anyone to feel bad for me. See, he has a subject up there. I called on it. That's it. Right, and you're... But then you went into the complaining, and... Plenty of people who love me. He loves me. My family loves me, and I'm happy. You know, happy, you know, hopefully one day we can get it straight. If we can, hey, whatever. But, you know, I know that the relationship itself is... All right, well, if that's the kind of love that you need in your life, then I am so much more in agreement with Tom about never getting married and never getting fully involved with a woman again. And, Tom, I got to go. Can you take me out with a bong hit? I certainly can, Tom. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Well, I can say, Monica's good luck on that. Unbelievable. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Visit our MySpace page. Just go to MySpace.com slash T-O-M-L-E-Y-K-I-S. It's the Tom Likas Show.